My name is Lara Cardozo and I just moved into the Netherlands and for that I had to do a ton of research to know what paperwork I need to take care of to legally be here and to take care of my taxes and get health insurance and I gathered some of that information in this video just to start your journey so So the first situation is really easy and is if you are a e -E 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 Swiss citizen and you want to stay for less than 4 months or the next 6 months in the Netherlands. So what you need to do is, within the 5 days of your arrival, you make an appointment in one of these desks, the closest to you, and you take your identity card or your passport, you fill some paperwork and they will give you a number. And with that number you can take care of your taxes, get work, get health insurance, because it's really important you have health insurance, because anything can happen to you. And after you get this number, you are just legally living here. So the second situation is also really easy and is if you are a, 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 a Swiss citizen and you want to stay for more than 4 months. So with this you need to make an appointment at your tunnel for first registration and you need to take your identity card, a proof of where you're living like a rental contract or a letter from the person you live with that owns the house and a birth certificate. Now, you can take the birth certificate later, but sometimes they don't accept that, so just get your birth certificate. So you make an appointment, you go to it, you take all of these documents, you fill some paperwork, you sign some stuff, and you go home, and after a couple of weeks, you get a letter with a number that is your PSN number, and with that you can take care of everything. So. The third situation is a little bit more complicated and is if you are a partner or a close relative of an e -E 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 a Swiss citizen and you want to live in the Netherlands. So what you need to do is take a verification against EU law and to start your journey you need to go to ind.nl and go to the search bar and write verification against EU law and click on the form. And in the form it's you need to fill the form, you need to get the documents the form tells you to bring, you need to make an appointment where the forms tell you to do. So the form will tell you everything and after you go through all of the steps you'll be legally living in the Netherlands. So the fourth situation is that if you are not a, one of the citizens of all, like you're not a partner or a close relative to an e -E -E Swiss citizen or you're not one yourself and you want to stay for less than three months in the Netherlands. So what you need to do is to get a Schengen area visa or a C visa or a tourist visa and these three are all the same visa just have different names. And what you need to do is that you need to call your Dutch ambassador, your Dutch consulate and they will tell you everything you need to do to get it and after you get it you can just come live in the Netherlands for 3 months. So the fifth situation is the hardest one and you see you are still a non e e a Swiss citizen or you're not a partner or a close relative to them and you want to stay for more than 3 months in the Netherlands. So for this you will need an MVV that is a provisional residence permit to get in the country and then when you get in the country you need to get your residence permit. Now there is people that don't need the MVV but there is most people need it so just go to ind.nl and you go to the search bar and you write MVV and in there it says who is exempt or not from it and who needs to take it or not and in there explains all the steps you need to take and if you have any questions you can just call them or call the Dutch consulate or the Dutch embassy at your country. Hope you enjoyed this video, hope it helped you, if it didn't I'm really sorry I really tried but I'm not a professional and this is just personal research that I decided to share with everyone.